everybody. It's uh, Children's Praise again. This is uh, another lesson here from uh, Pastor Matthew Fisher. I'm very grateful to be having this time with you. Uh, we get to have little Bible lessons on various topics from week to week. Uh, and the topic I want you to think about uh, this morning, as you're gathered there with your teacher, I want you to think about how much more complicated your life could get. Your life is going to get more complicated, believe it or not. You're going to get older and you're going to grow up and you're going to take on more responsibilities and have more options and more freedoms and more things to do. And uh, that's going to make your life a lot more complicated, believe it or not. Maybe you could talk to your teacher sometime after this lesson about how their life is a lot more complicated uh, as they grew up and they can tell you their story. Uh, but when I think about a complicated life, I think of um, what it's like to drive on a road. And you haven't even done that yet. Someday you'll be driving on really uh, big roads, highways with lots of lanes and lots of cars. And that can get complicated too, uh, especially if you're driving pretty fast. And so what we normally would have done years ago is use this thing called a road map, believe it or not. There was this thing of a piece of paper and it had all sorts of squiggles all over it and they were different colors and it was called a map. You might have seen one of those before. Right now we use our phones uh, with the GPS that shows us how to drive. So it's one less thing uh, we have to think about. It actually makes life a little less complicated. Um, and it's pretty nice. So here's the verse. Psalm 119, 105. Think about this when you think about a map. It says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. That's a pretty cool verse. I'm going to read it again. I want you to really think about it. Psalm 119, verse 105 says, Your word, so God's word, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So if you've been walking in the woods late at night when the sun's going down and it gets pretty dark, you get a little scared maybe, or you realize at least how difficult it is to walk through the woods without a flashlight. You need a light for your feet. You need to know where your feet are going to go. It's the same thing uh, when we're driving in that car we mentioned earlier, especially when you have a lot of windy roads all over a place you've never been before. It's really helpful to have a road map and to know where those roads lead. And so what this portion of the psalm says, Psalm 109, 119, 105, says that God's word is like that. Now, this whole time I've been talking about driving on roads or walking in the woods, all the things you do physically with your body. But what this verse is talking about is uh, the pathways of your mind. So God's word directs the way you think. And the way you think directs the way you live and the way you walk. Um, everything in your life is going to get more complicated. So the way you think now and all the problems you have now that you have to think through are only going to be more complicated problems, but you're still going to have to think through them. And that's why now you need to realize what you're doing in this children's praise and through any of the Sunday schools that you do at this church and any of the Bible that you learn throughout your whole course of life is going to be really important for you to learn how to think like God. If you can think God's thoughts after him, you can follow God's steps after him. That's why the verse, I'm going to read it one more time. I want you to really put it deep in your mind. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So I want you to start in your life right now, however old you are, to start trying to remember God's word and to learn it. Learn it from your parents and learn it from your teachers. And I want you to try to put it deep inside your mind and try to memorize a lot of it. Because when you do that, your next step is what I want you to do, is to start apply God's word to your life, applying it to your life in various ways. So when your parents say it's bedtime, and we know that Ephesians, for example, see, you might not even be able to do this, right? You might not be able to say, oh, I know in Ephesians uh, 6 that I'm supposed to obey my parents. Right? Or if you could you say this? Could you say, I know in Exodus 20 that I'm supposed to honor my father and my mother. If you're not able to do that right now, then that means you need to start learning God's word so that it can be a light to your feet and a lamp to your path. So some night, maybe tonight, who knows, your parents say, hey, it's time to go to bed. And you say, 
uh, in your mind, you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to go to bed. I really, really don't want to go to bed. And then you maybe put up a big uh, fuss or a fight, or you say, oh, no, I need to get this or I need to get that. And then you make a big distraction instead of just going to bed when your parents say to go to bed. See, that's it, if you know Exodus 20 and you know Ephesians 6, then you start thinking that way. And you think, oh, I should probably start trying to live my life according to God's word. That's one example, right? So this is what your life is like right now. You see? Um, it's got windy. It's a windy road. It's got turns and bends. Uh, you have problems. You have uh, things you need to do to stay on the course. You need to turn your mind this way and turn your mind that way. And um, this is how you stay on the road. You know, Think of each one of these little color points as a Bible verse. Maybe you're going this way and you realize, oh, I need to obey my parents because I know the Bible tells me that. And then you turn. And you're like, oh, you know what? I should share my toys with my brother or sister. And then you turn. And you're like, oh, that one girl at school got made fun of, so I should go over there and try to help her or uh, encourage her and speak some love to her. And if you have God's Word guiding you, this is how you stay on this path of uh, walking with the Lord, having lights uh, that shine your path before you. Right? That's what God's Word does to your mind. This is your life now. And so now this is a little scary, even for adults. This will be your life someday. Look at that mess. So this is a roadmap of our country, the United States of America. And this isn't every road. These are only the big ones. These are the big roads that cover our country. And I want you to see how many roads there are and all the different colors and all the different squiggles and see how they all interact with all the different cities and the rivers and the mountains. This is a much more complicated map. And this is the kind of map that adults drive their cars on. So this is the map that you're functioning with right now, right? I should compare it one more time. This is the map that you're functioning with right now. Someday you're going to have to navigate this. And it's the same thing with your mind or your spiritual maturity. Right now you need to start learning to use God's word this way. Because life's only going to get harder and more complicated, and you need to know God's Word so that it will be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. So there you go. Think about those maps. Talk about them with your teacher. I'm sure they'll have great stories about how they got lost somewhere. And if they don't, they're probably lying. They probably got lost somewhere. So you have to ask them really pointed questions. All right, well, I will see you uh, next week. Take care.